Hey, welcome back. I um, wanted to walk you through what it took to get to this as a final product for the Mexican blanket metal flake candy paint job I've done. And it takes about five weeks from start to finish. There were a few things I had to redo, but for my first paint job, I think it went really well. So enjoy, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh -huh. Here we go. I took my 2012 Fiat Pop, prepped the hood, the roof, the trunk with 180 grit sandpaper to get it ready for the sparkle. I started off with a heavy overall layer of clear, then applied the 1 8 inch silver flake with the flake buster section by section, using an air blower in between layers so the flake lays flat. Then I added two coats of clear, then more flake to make sure it's full coverage. The flake is so large I needed multiple layers of clear and flake to cover every little bit. Then finally three heavy coats of clear to bury the flake as much as possible. I prepped the dash panel with 3M Scuff It um, paint prep gel and a gray scotch bright. I so much sanding and sanding and sanding and more sanding to get the surface smooth for painting. I graduated from 150 to 2000 grit, all for this beautiful smooth and shiny surface. Now we're moving on to the tape. I used a 1 8 inch, a half inch, a quarter inch, three quarters inch, one inch and two inch tape. 3M mint green precision masking tape, three inch yellow fine line tape. This is like a washi tape, ultra thin, so the edges of the paint are barely noticeable. I planned up the stripe placement by plotting a map using two scale measurements in Photoshop to make my life way easier. I left tabs at the top and bottom of the stripe to make removing a breeze and it was a good place to write notes and boy did I write notes. I made a diamond shape out of a piece of paper and traced around it with a pencil and outlined that with fine line yellow 1 8 inch tape and cut out filler pieces to create the black diamond pattern. Once that was all wrapped up, he was ready for the paint. First off, I started with cobalt blue. I peeled off the first layers of tape according to plan and poured about one ounce of House of Colors Candy co Cobalt Blue Concentrate into four ounces of inner coat clear. Base for the entire color scheme is cobalt blue to create more depths. So I did a light spray, then mask and piled on the cobalt in the areas I want a deeper color. Moving on to hot pink. Again, mixing one ounce hot pink candy concentrate into four ounce inner coat clear. I started unmasking the freshly painted cobalt blue base according to my map to create a gradient. Piling on the pink had the desired effect of a purple to pink gradient. On to the candy apple red. I love this layer because of the depth the red made over the cobalt blue. This one gets a tri coat of inner coat. Check out these rad red stripes. Now to ink and gold. We're using the same mixing ratio. I had to wipe everything down with a tack cloth and started spraying the yellow over the red to get a deep, rich orange. Almost there, oriental blue is up next. Same mixing ratio, one to four. This color gets two sections. One of the sections will get the same tricolor treatment as the red section. Check out this beautiful tropical blue. Now on to ink and gold again. I'm going to spray two coats of this over one of the sections of oriental blue, turning this section into a gorgeous green. All right, black is up next. First thing I had to do was unmask and wipe down. So let's take a moment to enjoy this little nod to Fiat's Italian roots. Look at that stripe. Got to remask and paint the black diamonds. There it is. And finally, let's load on some clear. Four coats of clear to bury the minimal paint edges. How that hose did not touch the clear is beyond me, but the results were awesome. Three days of paint, 360 yards of tape, and four weeks to prep.
Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you'd like to continue to see the Three-Eyed Tiger in action, anywhere in between that, you can join me on at Three-Eyed Tiger on Instagram. Thanks so much again, and I will see you next time.